Okay, let's do our warm-ups and some gentle things today. So feet hip with the part, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down and shoulders back and down. Reach the crown to the ceiling. Get that core activated, so ribs toward your spine and up. Just be gentle there. And take a moment to breathe. Keep that inner focus as we inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your chest, elbows back, crown high, shoulders down. Inhale, out to the front, keep those shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands just gently behind you, fingers together as you lift your head. Stretch your head back, get a good stretch along your whole spine. Pivot at your hips as you exhale, come on all the way down. So head toward your legs and hands toward your head. Take a breath, just relax, spread your toes, bend your knees, and slowly wind your way all the way up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back, spread your toes, and don't forget to breathe. So feel that back bend, keep lengthening out through the top of your head. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling all that circulation through your body. And again, inhaling, reach out, keep those shoulders down, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, shift them one position over as you stretch into your back bend, lifting your heart, and then pivot and exhaling, coming into that forward position. Hands up, head down. Take a moment and breathe. And again, slowly with the knees slightly bent, work your way all the way back up. And another back bend because we like to stretch the spine in its other direction. Inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment just feeling how your body is responding today. Side stretch time, so let's bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean no twist over to the side. So make sure your shoulder hips are still facing the front. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, reach your head and hand away. Feel those ribs, get a good stretch, contraction on the other side. And then inhale up, exhale that arm again. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Opposite arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean to the other side. And again, make sure you're not leaning forward, but everything facing the front. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra lengthening. And then inhale back up and release. Feel the sides a little bit more open. And spine stretch next, so get that twist ready. With this base of the skull, base of the spine stretching apart so those bones can move. Arms out, shoulder level, shoulders still down, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasp the elbows. Bring your arms next to your ears, shoulders down, sitting bones down, base of the skull up, and exhale into your twist. Either way, take a breath and exhale over. So deepen in that twist forward bend as much as you want. Keep your arms by your ears, pull your whole body toward that leg, but keep both feet evenly supporting. Take a moment and breathe, and then look your slowly up as you inhale, and lift your heart. Upper body back bend while you're twisted. Remember, no pressure in that lower back. Elbows back, shoulders down. And then inhale up. Exhale around to the center, switch your arms around. And again, lengthen the spine and then twist to the other side. Another breath and exhale all the way over. Take a few breaths there again, checking the weight on both feet. Just relax, head toward that leg as much as it wants to go. Feel your back, what it's doing. And then inhale your way up in the twist. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back. Take a moment and breathe. Then inhale up, exhale around to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips up into extended mountain. 
Let's keep everything straight as you pivot at your hips, arms by your ears, coming halfway toward the floor, stretch it out, and then drop it around down, just hang. Take a moment and breathe there, or pull in deeper for a little extra back stretch if you want, with hands behind your legs. And then arms back to the front, and one more roll up from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top. And circle those shoulders around a couple of times to get that area really safe. Take a moment as you breathe, just feeling that body responding to your stimulation. Spread your toes, on the toes slightly out. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. We're going to do a twist again. So we're going to bring the shoulder across. So really get the spine stretching apart. And then as you exhale, pull the shoulder across toward the opposite knee. So your whole body turns in the twist as you go over to that opposite side. Hands above your knees, remember no pressure into the knees, just a little positioning, bringing that shoulder, full body turning to the side. And then exhaling back to the center, stretch it out again. And do the other direction. So shoulder coming across toward the knee, hip, shoulder, ribs, everything turning, not just the shoulder moving. Take a moment and breathe. Keep the sitting bones and crayons stretching apart. And exhale, turning back to the center. And come on back up, turning your feet to the front into mountain pose. Take a moment there, bringing your hands to your heart, just feeling that stimulation through your spine. Look at your hands, inhale, bringing them toward the ceiling, and then a little bit back, keeping looking at your thumbs as they go behind you, coming into that back bend as much or gently as your body needs today. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, again, slowly coming on over into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees into our halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, spine straight. And exhale, bend your knees and come on all the way to the floor for our child pose transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Let everything stretch. Roll along the back of your body. Inhaling, sit up and bring your legs out to the front into staff position. Heels out, sitting bones back, legs as straight as it's comfortable. Remember, kneecaps toward your thighs, tighten the front of your thighs so those hamstrings get a good stretch on the back of your legs. Take a moment to breathe. We'll work on the hips a little bit. So sitting bones behind you and then bring one foot up to your opposite thigh and let the knee come down. So it's high on the thigh or leg as it wants to go, and just relax. Remember, you can pad behind for a little pelvic tilt to get that a little bit more open, or you can take this front leg over to the side and feel that opening release a little bit. Knee and toes up, whether the leg is to the side or to the front. Just let the knee come down all on its own, or you can add a little weight, but not pressure. Don't push. Just allow your hand to add some weight, and that may encourage the knee to come down a little bit more if it's ready to. But remember, never force. Let it relax. Those muscles are big. Let them release. That's when they stretch. Take a breath. I was just reading an article, and it said when you stretch the muscles and you relax them, the next time the muscles are more ready to achieve that position and maybe go a little further. So we always want to be relaxing, letting those muscles get a little bit more whatever they need to release. And then bringing your foot and knee into your hands or wrapping your arms, move back and forth for that hip rotator side to side. And just bring it into whatever comfortable position. If it's easy and you like it and you want more intensity for that rotation, lubrication, bring your foot higher or closer. That makes it more intense. Don't go there if you don't need to. As that feels warmer, you can maximize more or you can just be gentle 
whatever's good for you today. And then releasing that leg, the yoga of this is to notice what's different. And of course, we're gonna balance the body because that's what we do in yoga. We make sure that we're paying attention to both parts of our body. So bring that other foot up, keep those sitting bones behind you. Remember, pad if you need to. This side may be tighter, it is for me. I injured it years ago and it still has some reaction to that left in whatever joint muscle ligament tendon was injured. Again, a little pressure, no, no pressure, a little weight if you want, but no pressure. Knee and toes up on this front leg, bring it to the side if you like that extra opening. And again, just breathe and relax. As you relax, that knee will come down more when it's ready. But again, no pressure, just let it happen. Because remember, that's what the scientific article said will improve that lengthening and relaxation in the muscle. So breathe, let it happen, don't force it. Exhale any tension, just let it go. As it gets closer toward the floor, if it does, I mean, when I first injured this leg, it was up here, it took years. So just let it happen in its own time. Remember, do what's right for your body at all points. And again, bringing the knee and foot into your hands or pulling in closer with your arms wrapping around. Get that rotator moving, warming it up. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. Higher and closer for those of you who love it or not. Always personal practice. That's our yoga. Doing what's right for you in this particular moment. So remember, last week doesn't count. Just doing what's right right now. And exhale and release. And again, feel what's going on through your body today, how it's working. We're going to bring the feet together into butterfly position. Pulling those heels up close toward your body. Wrap your fingers around. Pull it in closer if that works around for you. And remember, just do what's right. Letting that inner thigh area release. Get that core activated. Remember, ribs toward your spine and up. Shoulders back and down, always. Letting those knees come toward the floor as much or little as they want to. And then bring your hands right under your shoulders behind you and a little pressure into the hands just to relieve things through that inner thigh. Turn the bottoms of the feet toward the ceiling a little bit more and those knees could come a little further toward the floor. Remember, do what's right for this moment, letting things relax, not forcing anything. Take a breath, lift your heart, stretch your spine, feel what's going on and just release any tension that you feel wherever it's occurring. Release your hands back to the front, slide your feet slightly out, bring your hands under your legs and then put the tops, the palms of your hands on the tops of your feet. Slide it out maybe a little bit more, and then bring your chest down, sitting bones way behind you. Keep your spine as straight as you can. So this is a pivot right there at the hips, not rounding. Just bringing that chest forward and down. And notice again what's going on through your legs as you're doing that. What parts are tensing up? Let them release. Maybe you'll go a little deeper into that pivot. Take a breath. Just relax. And then releasing your hands, sitting back up, bring your knees to the top, and slide your legs back out into staff position. Take a moment there, feeling that core supporting your spine. Let those shoulders relax and reach your crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe, exhaling any tension. And then bring one foot up to the inner thigh, knee out to the side. Bend your left knee and bring that heel back near your hip. Stretch up. And as you exhale, we're going to bring the hand across to the opposite knee, the first knee you bend, and the other hand out at shoulder level. And then we're going to follow around. This back hip's going to be up, remember. 
so that your whole spine can turn into this twist. Bring the hand to the floor down near your body, close to the mat, and stretch up through your spine. Keep turning your whole body. So hips, ribs, shoulder, turning into your twist as far as it wants to go. Just gently breathing, relaxing, just letting that spine do what it needs to do for your twist. Bring your arm back up to shoulder level behind you. Follow it back all the way around to the center and release. Bring your legs back up into staff position. Take a moment and breathe, exhaling tension. And bring the other foot up. So sitting bones behind you, foot to that inner right thigh, heel coming back near your hip, stretch up, bring that hand across to the other side and the other arm out. Stretch up, exhale, follow the hand around into your twist. So your whole body is turning, hips, ribs, shoulder, bring the hand again near your body on the floor and stretch that spine apart for the twist, exhale, deepen. Go even further if you love the twist, if you don't, just go as far as your body wants to go. Remember, your whole body is turning, not just your neck. You're bringing your hips, ribs, shoulder, all the way into your twist as far as you would like. Take a breath and relax. And then bring your hands up from the floor back to shoulder level and follow it around to the center, releasing everything back into stack position. Take a moment there as you breathe and relax. Stretch your spine apart. We're going to bend the right knee and bring that heel in close to your hips. Pull your arms around and hug the knee in. Shoulders down, shoulder blades always towards your waist. Foot on the floor, other hand, other foot stretching out. Remember, knee and toes up. We're going to bring the right shoulder inside the right knee. So whichever knee you have bent, bring that shoulder in. Wrap that hand back toward your hip and bring the other hand out at shoulder level, another twist. Exhale, follow it around. You can bring it to the floor behind you and just pull the knee and shoulder in the front toward each other as you turn into your twist. Or you can reach further with that hand that went around and see if you can clasp your other hand, pulling yourself deeper into this twist. So this is a shoulder opener. So make sure that if you have any shoulder issues, you're not going too deeply into that shoulder work. But it's really nice. I once relocated a dislocated shoulder doing this move, so it helps. But if you can overdo it, don't. So take a moment, moving hips, ribs, shoulder, everything into this twist, as much or as little, again, as you need. If you're clasping your hands or have that hand on the floor, bring it back behind you at shoulder level. Again, following it around to the center, releasing that front leg back into staff position, arms at your side. Feel what went on, how those shoulders are now different. Yeah, so we've got to balance the body. Sitting bones behind you, bending that left leg in, heel near your body, hips. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that good hug, and then take the left shoulder inside the left knee or the opposite one if you did the other way. Hand back toward your hip, other arm out so you can follow it around into your twist. So that remember that back hip comes up a little bit so your hips, ribs, and shoulder move into the twist. Hand to the floor behind you if that's enough or reach for that hand, see if you can clasp it. And then that works that shoulder even more as you pull the shoulder and knee into each other in the front. Take a breath, exhaling, turning as much as your twist wants to go on this side. So hips, ribs, shoulder, everything moving deeper into the twist if and when you're ready. Take a breath, keep reaching that crown up, exhaling, deepening as much as you like. Remember, your spine stays nice and straight in the twist, no rounding. Take a breath, just deepening. And then if you're clasped, release. If your hand is on the floor, bring it back up. And again, follow the hand back to the center so nothing jerks around, releasing your arms and your leg back into staff position. 
As you get back into your staff position, just feel your body. Take a moment to breathe. Get those sitting bones behind you, and we're going to go into a slightly wide-legged position. As much as you'd like, heels pressing out, toes pulling back, knees toward the floor, sitting bones behind you, so you get that good release through the inner thigh. Take a moment and breathe. We're going to bring the chest forward, letting the hip bones be the point that we're moving from. So take a moment and relax, push out through the heels, bring the arms up to shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, bring the hands down, sink into your sitting bones. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and release. Inhale and stretch. Keep your arms by your ears, lead with your chest, pivot at your hips and come toward the front. Keep pushing out through the heels and just deepen as much as you'd like. If you're really flexible, you may have that chest come further toward the floor. Breathe, just let it go. Keep your arms by your ears and pivot back up. Palms out, down to shoulder level and to the mat. Bend your knees, bring your legs back in. And again, into step position. Let that just release. Take a moment and breathe. And bring your feet to the end of the mat. Exhale, and slowly bring your body all the way to the floor. Take a moment there, just reclined integration, letting your whole body sink into that surface beneath you. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Let those shoulders sink. Release any tension in the belly. Bring your arms to T position for a final twist. Take a moment and breathe. Sitting bones toward your heels. Press your back down. Bring your heels up toward your sitting bones. Feet flat on the floor. Press your back down. And lift your feet. Keep the knees next to each other. We're just going to pendle them over, knees to the side. So knees go to the left and your head turns toward the right. Put those shoulders down, just a nice gentle twist. Take a breath. Exhale, let any tension. So you can stay there if this is a good twist for you today. Or if you want a little bit more lower back twist through the belly area, you can bring your knees up toward your elbow on that arm that's on the floor. You can extend the feet over toward the hand as well if you like to do that. So keep the shoulders down, middle back twist, turn your head toward that right arm for that neck area twist. Be gentle there if you need to. And only go as deeply into that lower back twist as your body wants. If you've gone beyond the knees to the floor, just bring those heels back toward your hips. And we'll roll onto our back. Bring your feet to the floor, straighten things out if you need to, before we twist to the other side. Again, knees above your hips, and just a gentle twist, rolling to the side, keeping your head turning toward that opposite arm. Again, shoulders, shoulder blades on the floor, middle back twist, head turning, neck twist. Knees to the floor, if that's not enough lower back twist for you, Bring the knees up toward your elbow. If you like that, you can extend those legs even further if you want toward your hand. Take a breath, shoulders down, body into that twist as much or as little as you need on this particular day. Take a breath, head turning, knees moving toward the floor. Remember, you can always pad if you need to under those knees. Take a breath. Let your body maximize its twist on its own. Never force a twist. And when you're ready to release, again, bring your heels back toward your hips. Roll onto your back and bring your feet to the floor. Take a moment there. Just press your back gently down. Shift your hands near your hips. Palms up. Slide your legs out. Bring the toes toward each other. And then just release. 
Coming into corpse position for our final relaxation today. Deep breaths in, let that belly rise. Ribs open all the way up to the collarbones, filling your lungs. Exhale, releasing all the way back down, releasing from the chest, through the belly, everything emptying. Letting that body just soften with the exhalation. Let it sink into that surface beneath you. Grow heavier with each breath, just exhaling into that earth embrace. And let your body go. No tension anywhere. Just today, so let that spine release, belly relax. Let your legs release as well. Just feel your body deepening into that earth support and let it go. Allow the thoughts of your body to release as well. And know that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. And other thoughts will come to you as you let go of thoughts of your body. Let those thoughts release as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just be now. Letting the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. Deep breaths in, exhaling and letting everything go. Body, mind, awareness. Just release any thoughts, any connection to your body. And allow those thoughts to release, allowing your awareness to turn inward. Finding the peace within. Feel your body. Feel your mind. Take a few moments and just be peace. I'm relaxing as long as you have time. If it's time now to get ready for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the moment, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. And as you're ready for that final yoga hug appreciation, Give yourself a good stretch. Bring your sitting bones toward your heels, pressing the back gently down. Heels up toward your hips and knees pulling in toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for that appreciative yoga hug today. And let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.